Welcome to the Town Agri Woods. My name's Mark, and that making all that noise is Fernando. <laughs> hey, Fernando. What are you doing, buddy? You in there with all the girls? <laughs> uh, so we have now closed in uh, the doors, closed up the doors, starting to get cool outside. Uh, so we do have an exhaust ventilation fan for inside the building. Uh, just to get rid of the humidity, we usually keep it in here just above freezing. Uh, so we'll give you a quick walk through of who's in here. We have little lady. She's going to be going to her new home, a friend of ours. Uh, she has been looking for a pig for a while now. And uh, little lady's going to go there. And Sheldon, <laughs> Sheldon's inside. Uh, and then of course we have Scooby, the little cold duck. Uh, so quite an interesting grouping of animals. <laughs> uh, now we did have Sheldon in with Moira and with uh, the little black sheep Onyx that we have, or the lamb I should say. Uh, but he was a little too rough on them. He plays rough. Uh, in here he is scared of little lady, <laughs> which is the funniest thing. Hey Sheldon! <laughs> What do you think? What do you think of the little pig? <laughs> uh, moving over, this pen here is uh, empty and cleaned out. Uh, so this is where Onyx was. Uh, and we've moved Onyx and Moira over into this area, along with Henry. Hey, Henry. Uh, so Onyx is doing really well. Uh, so she is still, um, you know, making great leaps and bounds in health. She's eating well, uh, she's happy, and Moira, uh, we usually bring her in uh, for companions, similar to Sheldon. Uh, Sheldon wasn't getting along very well, uh, and we just wanted to make sure that Onyx did have uh, a roommate. Now, checking out the other pen here, so this is the uh, this is the, the basically the chicken pen. Uh, we've got two chicken pens now uh, since Prince uh, and his two girls, the, the peacock and peahens, um, they had, uh, well, Prince had passed away about a year ago, and then the two peahens we rehomed. Uh, so the little ducklings here are getting quite a bit larger, uh, quite quickly. Hi, guys. Yes, very protective mom. And then we have the three guinea keats there in the background. Uh, so these two have been uh, have been parenting, taking turns parenting uh, with all the little kids. They've got little play dates where the little guinea keats will run around and play with the ducklings, and the ducklings will try to play with the hen. Uh, and then the uh, the duck, she she usually sits up on top of the food container. Uh, she's like, I don't want anything to do with this playing. You know, I'll take care of you guys. <laughs> uh, so they're going to remain in here, and we've brought in some hens. Uh, some of the more docile, broody hens. Uh, you can see one that's in there. And, of course, we've got a pigeon here. Now, there is a hole that goes through the fencing right here. Tara's kind of, looks like she's kind of closed it off a little bit. Hi, how are you doing? What is that? <laughs> Uh, so, and then, of course, Fernando's in here. Now, Fernando sometimes is out into this area over here, but man, can that bird poop. Oh, he just makes such a mess, Fernando. Yes, you do. <laughs> All right, hi, guys. How you doing? All right, let's see here. So, <laughs> so we want to talk about, um, this time of year, we have, oh, what's that? Um, pumpkins and squash and things from the garden. So, you want one of these, Shell? This is an apple. Well, I know our little lady wants an apple. Oh, there you go. Oh, yes. Oh, is that good? Is that good? Oh, it's, is it a little big for you? <laughs> She loves her apples. Um, now, this time of year, uh, of course, pumpkins and squash, of course, with Halloween happening, um, there is um, there's a surplus of that around. Here you go. Yep, you eat it. 
Oh, you just love it. <laughs> um, so, um, the seeds. Uh, the seeds are very good as a natural dewormer, uh, getting rid of parasites, uh, vitamin A. Uh, it is uh, good for their gut, uh, and it's, uh, we use it as one of the um, natural treatments uh, for parasites. So you've got um, pumpkins, you've got squash, uh, and you've also got, coming up uh, for the Christmas season, you have pine needles. Uh, so the pine needles are also good for uh, getting rid of parasites naturally, uh, but you you want to watch that you're not giving them to, so rabbits shouldn't be eating pine and, and fir wood. Uh, the needles are probably uh, too much for them as well, so you want to skip them. Uh, but the goats and the sheep uh, and, uh, and, and uh, the pigs, um, it is a, uh, also a natural dewormer. Uh, but you want to be careful about pregnant does, uh, so uh, sheep and, and goats. Uh, you don't want them to eat too much because it is very acidic and it can actually cause a miscarry. Uh, so what we usually do is, is we'll get some pine trees that are donated in. Uh, we will then give them to them out in the yard uh, and just kind of throw out the tree. And they can pick and choose what they want. It's not mixed in with their food. So they have the option uh, to, uh, are you stealing out of there? <laughs> you guys probably saw that the whole time. What are you doing? Are you eating that? Oh. <laughs> so here I've, um, there's some pumpkins up here. I don't know if you can see that. It might be just out of frame. Uh, but I cut up some squash here. We've got a whole bunch of squash. You're gonna have some of that. Sheldon's funny that way where he, um, it's kind of picky. He doesn't really care too much. Um, he's kind of, his <laughs> he's just, he's, he's just Sheldon. Uh, so if you're um, unfamiliar, if you're new to the channel and you're not sure about who Sheldon is, uh, Sheldon actually will be, I believe it's three years old coming this spring. Uh, and he had a, um, a really tough time when he was born. He couldn't stand, he couldn't feed. Uh, he has come a long way. Um, we look at Sheldon as being autistic. Uh, he, he's just, he's just, that's why we love him. He's so special, aren't you, buddy? Aren't you? Yes, you are. Um, so we put him in with little lady that's getting a good fill here. Here, what, is it, what about this? Look. Look. What's this? She's... She says, that's not an apple. <laughs> oh, lady. Reminds me of that Kenny Rogers song. Lady. What is that? No? No. No. She wants. Here, right here. Look, right here. Over here. Come out here. Look. Oh, here you go. There. Eat that. Oh, there you go. But like a lot of things, uh, you don't want to give them too much of a good thing um, because, of course, they can get runs and you don't want that. Um, actually, um, pumpkin is also a natural um, a solution for constipation as well. So uh, it can cause the runs. Uh, it can cause their poop to, uh, in pigs anyway, I know, can go green. Uh, like kind of slimy green. She's not in. She's not interested in the uh, in the squash. She wants these. Okay, one more. Here. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Sheldon, are you looking at the camera? Come over here, buddy. They can't see little lady eating her pig. I'm mean, eating her. Pig. The little lady, the pig, eating her apple. Here. 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 Okay. One more. Slow down, slow down. Just <laughs> What's all the noise doing in there? What's all the noise, Fernando? So here you can see some of our pine trees from last season. And we just kind of threw the extras because we had so many. We threw some extras in here uh, just as some decorations uh, for, uh, for the animals. Uh, and of course, the um, we had the wild birds fly in here. We had about 20 in the other day, and they were just they were packed in there. Of course, you don't see them until you uh, until you go in there. All right, so out 
into the shelter. Oh, what is it, girls? Hey, is that Fernando loud? <laughs> uh, all right, so we have uh, Paula and Marley. Marley's um, eyes do get uh, some gunk in them. We do treat them. Uh, we treated his eyes uh, just yesterday. Uh, because they do get uh, get some goop in them. It's just something that uh, he's going to have to live with. Just an eye, very similar to Moira. Hey, buddy? Yeah. Uh, then we have Turbo uh, over there. We've got um, Daisy the sheep and Bronwyn the sheep. And uh, so everybody's um, basically where they're going to be for the winter. Uh, we've got Petunia over there and Shanzi. Uh, and then um, Tulip, which uh, came in with Daisy the Sheep. Uh, and then we have George. George, what are you doing, buddy? <laughs> uh, so the shelter's all ready. Um, Tara was cleaning up the, uh, the rabbit area uh, out there. Uh, we've got uh, our Muscovies and our ducks uh, in. So we've got uh, one of the drakes in here, uh, one of the females. Uh, and then we've also got the uh, the other ones all in this area. So we've closed them off. Uh, we haven't closed them into the building quite yet, but the geese and ducks are in there. Uh, and then we'll uh, we'll close it up as the weather starts to get a little colder. So this is basically the area that they're going to be closed into. Well, not really closed into, but they're going to stay in. They don't usually go too far. The ponies do. Uh, there's Daisy there. She just came in from the back. Uh, and uh, where is he? Uh, I saw Levi back uh, further. Uh, Levi and Meadow. Uh, they usually go and they'll run through the back. But um, the sheep and goats and alpaca... Uh, they all generally stay close to the shelter. Uh, there's no need for them to go any further. Petey, hi Petey. Looks like Tara had thrown out some uh, some little grains and he's just kind of getting in there and, <laughs> and cleaning up. You can see the grains all kind of scattered. Uh, who else? So there is, uh, we missed uh, Billie Jean, so she's there. And then we've got Blackie, Blackie's coat. Uh, somebody had mentioned from a, uh, a little video I posted on Facebook, they said, is it me or is Blackie not black? She's brown. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you, do you love Coco? <laughs> um, when Blackie's fur gets long, very similar to uh, when Coco's, Coco's got this fur right, you know, kind of on the top of her back. It gets light brown. Uh, but during the winter months, she, um, her black fur turns uh, brown. Uh, and then it will, once she sheds out in the spring, she'll go completely black again. So here is the greenhouse garden area. Somebody had commented uh, just the other day about uh, do we use high tunnels or low tunnels? Um, so no, we don't. Uh, it really, you know, winter in Manitoba here kind of creeps up on you and gets really cold really fast. Uh, so we had the door closed for some time. It's kind of extended our season, uh, so we can start a little bit earlier and then finish it a little bit later. Because we live in the center of the continent, uh, we are pretty much the center of North America where we are. Uh, and there's uh, not a lot of um, large bodies of water like you would find uh, on the coasts. I don't see Levi and Meadow. They're probably back. Who knows, they could have, they, I could have even missed them. Um, but they are back here somewhere. Levi! Aha! I see movement. Levi! I was looking out back. They're actually over at the western edge. Oh, that's why. <laughs> okay, so I must have missed this uh, to when Tara came out and she was, um, she was doing some stuff out in the barn. And uh, of course, she must have gone down and grabbed some more hay bales from the barn, which is over at the western edge of the property. Uh, and this is where she will put some hay. Uh, just so that, you know, there's no, uh, you don't have to transport it down and over. Uh, she'll often throw hay in certain areas like this. 
I was looking out back for you guys, <laughs> and then you were up closer to the front, weren't you, buddy? Yes. Hi. All right. There you are. Yes, I know. Yeah, you can go back to eating. No problem. Yep, I'm good. Yes, I know. I love you too. <laughs> Meadow? Hi, girl. Hi. How are you, hey? How are you? Yeah. Oh, you two. You two are funny. <laughs> All right. We'll see you back at the shelter. So something else you can use, or some other animal you can use the pumpkin seeds for, uh, are dogs. So they also do work as a natural dewormer, parasite. Uh, it paralyzes the parasites. Uh, now for dogs, you'll want to take the seeds, dry them, uh, and then put them in like a coffee grinder or something to grind the seeds down. Then you would give, it is a, uh, a quarter teaspoon per 10 pounds of body weight uh, for the animal, for the dog. Uh, and then you put that in with their food uh, and then they'll eat that. Uh, now you want to do that daily. Uh, usually you want to do it over the 14 day kind of gestation period for parasites is usually what we look at. Uh, when we use diatomaceous earth, DE, or fireplace ashes for parasites on the outside of the animals, uh, we'll do it for about three weeks. Uh, we'll do it a couple times a week for three weeks, especially in the spring when we have our kid goats that are born. Um, they're inside and they tend to get like little fleas and little, little uh, parasites in their fur. And then you see the eggs. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to treat them. And because their hatch rate is about two weeks, you want to make sure that you're going over the two week period uh, so that, you know, you're killing the parasites, you're suffocating them basically uh, with the fireplace ash and DE. Uh, DE also uh, is, is microscopically sharp edged, uh, so it does um, pierce and, and apparently cut and, and dehydrate the, uh, the parasite as well. But you also want to wait until the eggs hatch or else you're going to be doing the whole cycle all over again. Uh, so usually for about three weeks. Hi guys! <laughs> Actually there's Hi. And then we have cheese and quackers here. Hi buddy! Are you the ankle biter? <laughs> and I noticed in here... Oh there's Billy! <laughs> Hey, buddy. <laughs> oh, he's funny. He just loves his rabbit area. Uh, and then the geese. We've got a couple um, roosters out here as well. Oh, you guys are so loud. Oh. And then the ducks. Yes, I know. Winter's here. No more swimming on the pond. <laughs> uh, so I've explained this in the past, how we do the water. Tara has added a couple extra containers here uh, so we'll pour water in in the morning and then in the evening as well so we don't get the freezing. Hey bud, you like my shoe? Yeah, my jeans? <laughs> uh, and then of course our rabbits are in here. Uh, now the one is Hugo and then we've got a white one that's named Snowball. Uh, the other ones don't really have a name. Somebody had asked about that in one of the comments, and they said, what are the names of the rabbits? And, and I'm like, oh. I know we got Hugo, and I believe the white one, Snowball, which was the first one you would have seen last week when I went in there. Uh, but the other ones, they don't always come in with names. Uh, we've got one coming in uh, tomorrow, Monday. Yeah, that's tomorrow. I'm gonna go out because it's awfully loud. Oh, now they're gonna now they're gonna be quiet. <laughs> um, so tomorrow we've got one coming in. We work with uh, a few different agencies, and one of them is a uh, it's basically the the country pound. Think of it. Uh, and they had a domestic rabbit that was found running wild. So they're gonna bring it in on Monday and then we'll, um, not sure if it's female or male. Hugo in there is the only boy, uh, but he's fixed. So there's no concern with having him in with the two girls. Uh, so we'll have to, um, Tara probably knows uh, if it's female or if it's male uh, and then what we're gonna do with that. Uh, so speaking of males, uh, we have, hi belly boy. 
How you doing, bud? Uh, so Billy and Carl will go up front. Sorry, this is the front. <laughs> we'll go to the back area uh, probably next weekend. Billy! Billy, 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 Billy! Billy! Yeah, you know your name, don't you? <laughs> uh, not sure Carl's probably over here. Uh, so they are going to go in. Uh, there he is. Uh, so we do breed our pygmy goats and we've... Um, We've actually got, uh, we had some phone calls this fall uh, of some of the farms, uh, some of the farms that we've dealt with and just for other uh, farms that are looking for uh, some pygmy goats. Uh, now these animals don't go for meat, we don't sell them for meat. Uh, they are going to other farms and we've got, um, uh, we've, we've got a, a large collection of farms that, uh, that we communicate with that uh, you know they're moving to the country maybe they're they're city folk moving to the country or maybe they're just upgrading their land uh, and they contact us and say you know first of all if, if there is any animals that do come in like the uh, pig little lady so they'll kind of mention that they're uh, they're looking for a pig for example uh, so we'll keep an eye out for them and when that does happen then uh, we can rehome over into that area um, so now the goats, we really don't get goats in on rescue. Uh, we had had some Angora goats that came in that were on seizure. Uh, they were seized from a property, uh, I believe it was in the spring. Um, but the pygmy goats, uh, they, there is, uh, there's quite a few people that are looking for pygmy goats uh, because they make such great farm hands. Right, Billy? Billy? <laughs> Are you ignoring me? <laughs> oh, he's all tough looking. He's got his hair up. <laughs> uh, so they just, they, they're small. They're, they, they make great pets. Um, and they're, uh, they're relatively easy to maintain. Had we a thought about uh, goats uh, when we first moved out to the property uh, and the benefits that they can do for clearing the property, we would have probably uh, installed some of this electric fencing uh, before, you know, earlier, sooner than we, uh, than we actually did. So, uh, probably next weekend we'll be showing you going in with the, uh, girls. Uh, they are starting to get a little smelly. And, uh, aren't you, buddy? <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> so we'll see that next week. Well, you know, it's, uh, it's time to put gloves on, I guess. <laughs> I'm one that, uh, kind of, I guess, waits until the last minute. And now I'm holding... Uh, a metal tripod in my hand um, in sub-zero temperatures. So I'll learn one of these days, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, video on uh, trading with parasites and just a quick little rundown on uh, where everybody is and what's happening here at the Ten Acre Woods. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please uh, click on that subscribe button and click on that bell to be notified of future videos. And until the next video, we'll talk to you later and have a wonderful week. Bye-bye. <laughs>